I heard that go off. Man. We good over there? That's gonna be kind of loud. I can take that now. Is that loud? Yeah. Is anybody checking in yet, y'all? Somebody say DJ real tag off. Oh, 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 not yet. Let me get some thumbs up if you're there. I know y'all there. Let's see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. We got some thumbs up on Tika Feed. Let me see some on Will. We got that. We got one of those. Are they sleeping? They must be still asleep. Hey, okay, we got some thumbs up. Right. Man, y'all ain't even wearing it. What is up with y'all? Good grief. Dang. We asked you earlier today. <laughs> Well, you know, last week we get going oh, to the light, so you know, know we like six. Hey, y'all! Thank you for talking. Thank you for tuning in to talking to you with TJ and, and co-host Will. Oh my God! Act like y'all don't see him because we actually want to bring him in like an entrance. But he already here. But he already. Here. If y'all can hear us, let us know. Do we need to turn the music down? Let us know. Give me some thumbs up. Everything is a go. You can hear the, hear the music. Just, you just want it to be just a little bit. You know, not too much. Just a little bit of music. Not too much. Just groove. What y'all thinking? Where y'all at? Y'all slow today. What is that? Okay. God. Let me know what city or where are you? What city are you in? Let me know where you are. Let me know where you're checking in at. Everybody's in? Okay. Good. All right, well, let's get started. All right, if y'all can hear us, they, they got thumbs up when they can hear us. Give me a thumbs up real fast. Like, know, give us, a, give us some hearts, because we tired. Y'all may throw thumbs. Give me some hearts if you all can hear us over the music. Right. The music just stops, so wait. Thumbs up? <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait some music start back. Oh, yeah, oh, some hearts. All right, all right, good. All, all right. right, all right. Well, we're excited about today's show. I know you guys are. Uh, thank you for sharing the posters and, and uh, liking the page. Oh my God, it's been amazing. These folks have been a little bit excited about you being here today. Good. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't either, but thank you, Jesus. That's right. Oh, That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, let's get this started, guys. I think you're going to start off with the announcements for the week, right? Yes, yes. Uh, Monday and Wednesday classes, YOLO Steppers. Every Wednesday night, backstage with Class Act. Also, Thursday, Ellery's is closed for right now. Um, as it stands now, the last word I got, it's going to be definitely almost right at two months um, before they can reopen. They, there's a lot of damage in there from the, um, um, actually the city caused the problem. Uh, one of the mains went down and so everything backed up. Oh, so it messed up the place pretty good. So yeah, they, they're going to be down for a minute. And then uh, it was, uh, this coming um, Saturday. Well, next Saturday. Next Saturday. It's a well, mess. we skipped over today. We'll go back. Next Saturday, the 29th, is the masquerade for Kim Davis. Yes. We're going to throw that. I'm going to come back to this Saturday. First of all, we got today. We're kicking off with Carmen. They're going to be at Luxor, mm -hmm. a new location in Lithonia. Mm -hmm. uh, that's today. And then this tonight, Celebrating Stars, which, um, hey, YOLO <laughs> Steppers. We have a good time. Oh, um, if you don't have a ticket, you have to pay at the door. Yes, you got to pay at the door. Well, you know what? I tell you what. <gasps> Right now, I still have online up right now, but once the show is over, I'm shutting online down. You, so you if you don't do have that. your ticket, sorry. Don't be like, my internet was slow, and then you shut it down. Mm -mm. Don't even want to hear it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Also, um, and then tomorrow, mm -hmm. got a nice little workshop, you know, uh, the benefits, the full benefits going to Kim Davis. Uh, it's going to be at BFW. Mm -hmm. uh, it's $15 for all three workshops. That's amazing. You can't beat that. So they're going to have the women's uh, workshop, the men's workshop, and walking. That's going to be nice. You can't I, beat I, that. Can't beat and that. And it's a great, great cause. That's yes. the main thing about exactly. it. Exactly. Um, we also wanted to bring in Drag Company. But before Wait. we do that, let's not also forget we skipped over Wednesday classes also along with YOLO. Then Dread Company also have classes on Wednesday That's also. Right. Oh, right. Right. I wasn't gonna forget that it was at uh, at the Omega Center. I was up next. I just trying to be. No, you know. no, I don't want to do it. I'm gonna let you know. Go ahead. We show love you. here, buddy. Appreciate we it. We show love you. Are we at Omega yes. Center on Wednesday? Thank yes. you, Jesus. Seven nine. Yes. Drink coming to the building. Yes. All right. Come on in, Alicia. All right. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. 
Um, just want to let you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, okay? So Drain Company is trying to make a, a statement in the community and also support the community. So we have a team up. It is Saturday, October 29th. It's at Piedmont Park. We've invited all stepping organizations in Atlanta to join in on this effort. We do have a website already on the Making Strides for Breast Cancer. So go out there, make your donations. No donation is too small. We ask you to come out and support the day of the walk. If you're interested, it starts registration at seven o'clock until 8.30 and the walk starts at nine o'clock. It is a 5K, which is about three and a half miles. You can walk, run, jog, whatever you wanna do. But we wanna make the stepping community visible here in Atlanta. So please come out and join us. And if you want more details, just follow Dre Blackwell and Company's Facebook page, and we'll put up the setup times and the meet times and how you'll find us. That's it. Okay, Thank so why do you have this bucket? We are taking donations. Every okay. Wednesday we take donations at the class, and people have give, given donations. You can okay. do the online donations okay. completely safe. Okay, it's tax um, deductible. So yeah. make your donation and help support this effort for breast cancer awareness. I love it. Yeah. We're trying to do something different in the community. I like that. Oh. I like that. Hey, guys, if you like me, if you don't like doing all that walking, man, make sure you at least donate, though. Three miles is a long way to walk, um, but um, do <laughs> donate and then walk. Okay, or do uh -huh. both. Yeah, that's right. Do both. Or just donate and go home. Right, come out with your team. Now he see he feeling me now because you know <laughs> don't don't be afraid to donate. He said, "Well, I don't want to walk. You don't have to, but do donate." That's true. You did. All right. Thank you, honey. Thank, Thank you. Well, let's get to the prayer list. Hold on, y'all. I ain't trying to be funny. I've been listening to her talk for a long time, right? I've been knowing her yeah. a few months now. Uh -huh. Did she get prop on us online? Yeah. You're not going to hear it. 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 Alicia is the man. She is the man. She be putting out every day already. I love her to death. I won't trade in for nothing in the world. Awesome work. Yeah, she, I see her posting. Anyway. Anyway. Go ahead, girl. What's up? Whatever. Anyway, let me do, let's do the prayer list real quick. We want to continue to lift up these people in prayer. Um, Brie Wade, our homegirl here in Atlanta. We're still believing. We're still believing that she'll be back on that wood, girl. So yes. don't get all the dances, okay? Let me get a few for tonight. But we're just believing that you'll be back out there. Uh, Kim Davis, all the stuff we're doing for you, girl. It's just the love. It's just amazing. So we definitely have you in our prayers. Marvin Byers, uh, the ballroom and line dance uh, yes. instructor. Yes. Uh, I'm hearing that he's been making some appearances late lately. So yes. I think your prayers and your thoughts and things are working. So let's keep it up. Uh, Big Al yes. in Florida. I know he's still in rehab. Yes. Um, he has an event coming up November. November 10th through the 13th. Mm -hmm. So if you guys can get down to Miami, if you guys yes. can get down to that. Where can they go? What page? Uh, that? Go, go to, uh, actually go to um, Alan Jones. Web page or uh, Angela Coco Harden. Okay, to get information on that, so that would be a great thing. Um, and I also want to uh, send our prayers and our condolences to the family of the Majestic Gents. It's my understanding they lost a good, 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 good guy. VA, yeah, go exactly. VA, he's one of the uh, pioneers of stepping. He's one of the Majestic Gents for Chicago, and uh, we don't miss him. Yeah, so we are praying for for those, the family, uh, and especially Cheryl. Uh, so we love you. All right. So let's get, let's get the legal stuff out of the way. Go ahead. All right. The views and opinions expressed on this show are solely those of the guests, viewers, and other contributors. These views and opinions do not necessarily represent those of Talking Tea with Tika and co-host Will, its staff, and or any or all contributors of this show. All right. All right. All right. What's that called? Your um, your disclaimer. Your We're not responsible for what people say. Right. In other words, bottom because line. Y'all been doing too much. Yeah. Like seriously. Can I put out this disclaimer? Is this rated PG? No, why? Yeah, this is rated PG. Rated PG, rated X. No profanity. Okay. We don't do we want to do? We don't want to do PG thirteen. Yeah, as long as no profanity is involved. I would do my best. No, 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 no profanity. Okay, well, no. We don't want Facebook to shut us down. Okay. 
Yes, we have in the building, y'all. I mean, do we even need to say? Yes. Do we even need to say his name? But we won't right now. We have something we need to do. We have some house cleaning to do. Yes. We got some house cleaning to do. So go ahead and start the house cleaning. Let me go and do that. Let me go and get this young man on Give the phone. Give a second. You know we got house cleaning to do. We always can fix things here, make things right. When things are misinterpreted, we go back and we fix them. So let's fix it real quick. I don't know, can you guys hear us okay? I know you guys have the music in the back. You guys can hear us okay? I hope so. All right. They said turn it up. Let me have thumbs up if you can hear us. All right, very good. We got some house painting to do real quick. I don't think I saved it. Well, okay. Well, he's got a plug too. I'm trying to. We're trying to get the hooks up, guys. But give us a second. Let me know where you are. What state you guys are in? I, I need to know. I know we had Florida. We had Arkansas last week. We had. I know we had some LA in the building. Where? Tell me where you are. Um, oh, Detroit is in the building. Let me let y'all know something right now, Detroit. Let me let y'all know something right now. For the hair and dog, I think Atlanta's gonna take it this year, I'm just saying. For the roll call, I straight think Atlanta gonna take it, I'm just saying, because Detroit and Chicago be real tired of y'all coming to Atlanta being more than us. It sounds good. Who? Virginia. Virginia? Chi-Town is in the... Yeah, in the building, Chi-Town. chi, -town. chi -town is always in the building. Thank you for the love of Chi. Who else? Alabama, what's up? What y'all got going on down in the family? Raleigh? We there, Tony? All right. Who else? Who is that? Who else is about in there checking in with us? Who got your teeth? Who? Illinois? That's Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. What part of Illinois, baby? Yeah. Alabama? 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 Hold on, we have some technical dip. Huh? St. Louis is in the building. What's up? Virginia's in the building. We got Virginia in the building. You there, Tony? Yeah, I like you guys. I think I'll be there in Jacksonville. Jacksonville, y'all should be up here in Atlanta going to the party tonight. Fort Lauderdale, what's up, Fort? That's what's up. Who else? Let me hear. Yeah, when you do your workshops and stuff, where, where, where do you usually go? You go all over? I've been traveling around the world for quite a while. I've been probably in every state, 52 of them. If they step in, in, in the state, I've been there. Hmm. That's how long I've been there. That's how long I've been there. I thought you were on 37 years old. I'm about 37, thank you. No, All right, Tony? Oh, yes, sir. All right, all right. All right. We're going to turn the music down for this hymn because we're going to make sure you all don't miss we this. We have some house cleaning to do. We did not announce this part of it. Uh, but I have Tony Dow back on the line. <clears throat> good morning, Tony. How are you all doing? How are you all doing this, this, this morning? We are doing well. If you guys can hear Tony, let me have some thumbs up or some hearts. If you guys can hear Tony. Tony, I'm going to ask you to sing again for me. You are? Yep. So can you sing to make sure people can hear you? Hold on, Tony. You're a little bit muffled. 
Just a little okay. bit. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah. So slow down and then, oh. then speak. Okay, go ahead. I, I, the two seconds of Iris, mm -hmm. I apologize personally for last month on that. Um, you know, you have to humble yourself and be real. Uh, in, in this situation, I mean, you know, want to be able to help the community pass on because this is and stuff. So, Tony, hey, wait Tony. Wait I don't wait. know if you got a bad signal, but if you're talking on speakerphone, I'm not sure, but it's coming in really, it's not clear at all. Is this better? That yes. is also perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I should have been singing. I should have been singing with it clear like this, huh? Right, it's much better. <laughs> yeah, okay, now people to hear what you got to say. Say you know, that again. Oftentimes, people don't, you know, go back and apologize when something happens. No. And so people need this. This. This is. This is classy here. Go ahead, Tony. Yeah, you know, as a uh, one of the, you know, you try to be a leader in the community and you try to pass on information and stuff. And you know, I'm not too big to say I, I made a mistake, and I'm coming on the air to apologize. Uh, I called Irie and I apologized to him personally, and me and him are good. Um, what happened was they did offer me the platform. I just wasn't in the building, and I was misinformed and misled. They gave me the same platform that they gave the, the, the other situation. Okay. So I, I'm coming on and I'm saying I'm apologizing for what I said because they did right by me. Now, the other part was, I think some people got it misunderstood that I was talking against the other project. That wasn't my idea. I'm, I'm, I'm down for anything that anybody's trying to do on a positive level. Very good. And I didn't want that to come off like that. So I apologize for that as well. Also, I think that some people got it misunderstood about what I was saying about Casper. I have no problems with Casper at all. Him and I have a working relationship. We, we, we have a camaraderie. I respect him on a high level. And the only thing I was doing was speaking out about information that he said he has in his possession. That's it. It has nothing to do with personal toward Casper or anything like that. I want that understood as well. Okay. Also, there's one more subject, which when I was talking about the world's largest steppers contest and why haven't we grown the pot or anything, I wasn't speaking against Pete personally. Pete is doing a wonderful job. Yes, he is. What I was speaking against was our community and why haven't we grown? That's all it was. So I basically am coming on here today to say I am standing up and apologizing for whatever misunderstandings that I put out in the air because I'm not trying to confuse the community or add more drama. We're trying to rectify things. And yes, I, yes. I'm one of the people that want to do that. So I thank you guys for letting me come on and have this platform. And I'm not going to hold you guys because we got to talk to Mr. Blackwell and his shenanigans <laughs> and get all of his insight on what's going on. But that's a good brother, and he's got some good information for you guys. Tony, I, I respect you even more. Yes. And yes. I appreciate you for doing that. Guys, show 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 him some love. Get some hearts out there. Get some hearts out there. Show that man some hearts. love. That means a lot. That takes a lot to yes. do that, and we talk, we appreciate that so much. And Thank we you, love guys. You. We love yes. you. We'll talk oh, soon. I love you too, man. You know. I it. love y'all too. <laughs> oh, let's get hug. Uh, <laughs> all right, Tony. All right, love you. Make sure you tune right. in live. Absolutely. All right, sweetheart. Bye bye now. All right, Tony. Later. 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 <laughs> that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Yes. Well, this man needs no introduction. I think we've already said his name probably about five or six times already. Andre Blackwell. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? Okay. <laughs> How about six? It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Did I tell you last night you weren't going to have no foolishness? Hey, you know I me. Mean, I only I'm... guess I have to pray up and say, listen, <laughs> we ain't coming with no foolishness. Everybody else I could be like, okay, let me give you the questions and, you know, we're going to keep it. Well, you know me. I was, him. I was dropped on my head as a kid and as a, and an adult, so, you know, I got a little issue, but I'm good, though. Awesome. You sure? <laughs> look at you look, look at how I look. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into it. Hold yes. up, before we get into it, I just want to let you know that uh, I appreciate you inviting me 
on this show, and I have a little something for you, you know what I'm saying? I got a small oh gift for you. Oh my God, are you serious? Special for, uh, this is one for you. I, let me make sure it's for you. Oh my God, <laughs> we've never... Yes. <laughs> you just set the bar. I'm just letting you know. That's the yeah. whole purpose of setting bar. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. You I'm can't forget you. Oh, my God. Well, you know, I can't forget you. You're my brother, so. Man, I gotta thank you. Thank you, sir. This is T. So appreciate that. This is some tea. Is it really? It's actually T. All right. Oh. It's a gourmet tea from T. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Watch out. And uh, oh. it's authentic. Let me, like say, let, me, let me just say this. Let me just say this. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, wait, uh-uh, don't show you. Let me show you something. Let me tell y'all something right now. Let me, let me just tell y'all something. This man right here is the ultimate businessman. I promise you, this is probably some tea. He's gonna have me sign a sheet or something all you need with my credit card information. Hey, I, okay, I got it on those swipers too, so in case. Oh, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I knew it! No, thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Anytime, anytime. Appreciate I just wanted to, you know, yeah. show my appreciation. I, we appreciate you. And like I say, your tea is authentic, just like you are. Oh. Awesome. Well, so is you, okay? You're a man, though. I can't be all that sensitive. No, I appreciate it, man. No, no. I, hey. You're no. a, you, you a great guy. Okay. Thanks. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> Dre, I'm going to go straight in. Go ahead. How did you start stepping? What made you come into this? What happened? Well, um... I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't even like stepping at one time. I was like 18, I went to this club called The Fort on 39th, mm -hmm. where all the L. Rookins at, Jeff Ford and all them, they over there, they oh. doing all the hard stuff. I'm like this. Mm -hmm. My Sorry. guy, Big Flakes, took me there. I'm like, I'm good on this, I think I'm not interested in this. He said, no, nah, man, we went the next week, they doing the same thing. I'm like, this is not me. Mm -hmm. And um, he just started getting me involved, and next thing you know, I'm just like, Ugh. I was doing it, I drop, I fall, I do whatever you want me to do, but I was so small, he was like a big guy. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how I got started years ago, that's how I was 18 years old. But I quit, because I wasn't really interested, I just did it because he liked it. Okay. But then during the years, I started, you know, going to this club over on the east side, it's called the End of the Rainbow, Nico's. And, uh, you know, there's always a girl going to get you to go somewhere, her name's Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie Howard, she used to get me, let's go, and I was the hoppingest, I was the boppingest, the hoppingest guy in the world. I, I, actually, I was the coldest there, but I realized I wasn't crap. I was, I was whack. Basically. And, uh, the, but the place closed down. You know, we had Lavelle C on the ones and twos. This is one cut I used to play the deck. It's called um, When We Get By by D'Angelo. Hmm. And I was like, When We Get By. And I was like, I was good. Then I went to the club called the other place. Lord, oh, Temple. the other place. I was in. I was like, I ain't doing. I ain't, I wasn't doing. I sat down and watched for six months. Just watched, watched. And then I finally got on the floor with this girl. Her name is uh, Phoebe. Her name is Margaret McBride. And she got me up there. I was doing what I was doing. I thought I was doing. Then this young lady named Sandra like this. What is that? What you doing? You don't do that here. <laughs> you gotta be smooth. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Sat down six more months <laughs> and watched. I'm like a sponge, so I can catch on by watching. Right. Right. You know, anything you put on me, I was young too. Mm -hmm. I can catch on. And then uh, somebody introduced me to this guy named Claudel Jackson. Mm -hmm. Claudel Jackson is a real smooth guy. He said, go to his class. He had a class. I went for like a week or two. I was like the advanced guy there. So the following week, the third week, he like Drake. I need you to go help him. What? I'm like, dude, I'm here to learn. I pay my money. I want to learn. You know, so I said, you know what, Claudia, I'm going to do what you need because I'm, you know, I'm a humble guy. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I did what I did. I watched. I quit. Next thing you know, I uh, started seeing everybody just, you know, spurting out. Mm -hmm. And then one day, this guy named Tickman came in from somewhere. I'm like, who is He was young like me. So I'm like, this mother, mm -hmm. he's good. If he can do it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, my first, one of my first partner named Lynn Huss, she's like, Andre, come here. Get up in there. So I'm like this. <laughs> Tickman, they doing trios, they doing stuff, but I'm just really in the house, practicing my own, what I, you know, what I know. Right. Next thing you know, they like, get up here. I'm like this. No. She said, get your big nose. I'm like, yes. <laughs> You must know me if you talk about my nose. You talk about my nose, you got to know me. Because I get, 
It's Ooh. the sickness. A little bit. It is. I've been talking about it for 47 years, so yeah. it's good now. You yeah, know, I, I can. come back easy. Quick. I get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you did. <laughs> so next thing you know, I got up there with man hustling. We dancing, we dancing, and we got in the contest in 1997. So at this point, you have been stepping for how long? Maybe almost, almost a, or not even a year. So you did your first contest. You had only been stepping a, a uh, Not even a year, yeah. I was hungry, so, you know, I, whatever she wanted to do, I was with it. So we got in the contest. We didn't do nothing. Okay. We was killing them, we thought. Mm -hmm. But we didn't do nothing. We didn't place. We didn't do anything. This lady mm -hmm. said, um, excuse me, sir, you're not going to win. I said, why? Her name was Jackie Jackson. <laughs> I love you. She, Jackie Jackson, you're not, you're not going to win. You got to pay your dues. Mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. what do you mean pay my dues? Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta mingle. You gotta go around. You gotta talk to people. Mm -hmm. You gotta mm -hmm. rub right. your shoulders. Right. And I did. I went to every okay. set. Mm -hmm. I went stepping mm -hmm. eight days a week. Mm -hmm. It ain't number mm -hmm. seven though. Right. So I'm me and Tick Man, that's the other place, dancing every day hard. I mean, Tick Man was a, he's a beast. Mm -hmm. I was the woman. He lead me like never before. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how I right now today I follow so well because. Mm. I always was the guinea pig. I always the one. So maybe because you were smaller, you think, and stacked? No. Nothing to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm thick. So, 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 in all of this time period, where did Casper come in at? Let me, let me, let me. I'm coming in. Casper actually introduced me to Tick Man. Okay. Oh. Okay. And he like this Tick Man Dre. I'm like this. Oh, really? He young. I'm young. I can do it because everybody else was way older than me, you know. And I was like. So you at this point you said eighteen or nineteen now? No, no, no. I was about 25, 26. By now, because oh, you said you walked away and like that came. Yeah, back. I walked away. Okay, 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 right okay. okay. So right now you right now you're twenty, you're twenty five, right? Exactly. Mid twenties. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now you've met Casper. So they have like Casper, Tick Man. They're doing all this. I was like an eyes, like okay, guess what? Y'all in? I'm in. Mm -hmm. Right. I got up there on the floor. You know how y'all say y'all want to learn in the club? That's why I learned that in the club. Casper used to come do so many moves to me. I was like, I was in awe. I was like, why is he doing all this to me? Because I was, like you said, I probably been thin and he used me a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I was quick. Casper was, he's a beast too. He's a, he's very one of my mentors, actually, because mm -hmm. he's, he's phenomenal. He's a, you tell him to perform? Right. He's no, a performer. If you want to win, he's going to do whatever you got to do. If you got to take off a wig and throw it and snatch it back, whatever it takes, he'll do it. And right. I, 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 I took that, I'm like, hmm. So who taught you stepping? Because it seems so like so you, you just started kind of Claudia, you kind of like started Claudia, you know, and kind of. I actually was a self talk because I went home every day, okay, and I just did the basics all day long, hours and hours and hours. I did that. Six, I was doing a six count then, okay. Mm. I was doing a six count. I did a six count for at least twelve years. So who taught teaching. you the six count? Is it just something you just? Claudia kind of gave me that little fundamental right there that I needed, you know. Okay, I mean? okay, okay. And I went home and just mastered it. So formal instruction, two weeks. Basically, I didn't really get much at all. But mm -hmm. out there in the club, mm -hmm. Casper, he was on me, he stayed on me. He, I, he's not per se to have a class. I guess him being in the club is what made me consider his class, but right. <clears throat> it was class to him, it was class to me, you know? Okay. So I'm in there, we going hard every day. I mean, this wasn't no, okay, we gonna skip a day, maybe. I had custody of my son, uh, Lil Dre, he was, uh, Bad. He was his mother abused him when he was a kid, and you say he was bad. He was bad. I mean, he was like I guess he was rebellious from yeah. the fact that he lost his mom. Yeah. And uh, oh, could have been a gene. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, my mom. That was a good one. Uh -uh, I call it though. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, he just was rebellious. Next thing you know. I had to go to school every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. So you're a single parent at? 21. Oh, at 21. Okay. Yeah, at 21. So you have a lot of responsibility already exactly. on your shoulders. Yeah, okay. So. So you would do the club scene? No, I would, I would do all the schooling for him, do whatever I got, go to work, mm -hmm. get off work, go to club. Because that was my outlet. That was my release, mm -hmm. you know, going to the club. Mm -hmm. And. Now, do you roller skate? I skated a little bit. I started skating years ago and I was good at it, but then Stephen came along, skating just was all uh, behind me. I couldn't, I wasn't interested in it no more. So do you roll it all now? I got skates, I got bones, I got it all. I can do it, but I'm just ain't interested. I, can, I can't do the crazy leg, right. but I can shuffle and I can do what I fall and I can go backwards. I can do it all. But so I you can get around the ring back? Many a time. I ain't bad. Okay. I'm just saying well, great. I can skate. 
I can skate. I just really? can't stop. <laughs> stop in the knees. No, I run, in, I run into the little ledge. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so I stay on the ends. Okay, so let me ask you this. This is this is the question. Go ahead. All right, so here you are. Mm-hmm. You're... You around these old schoolers, you come up in these old school clubs, you know how we do it. We real smooth, we, we you know, we, you come in here with this pop locking and all this, you know how you do it. <clears throat> yeah. How did it feel to be disliked? Because you, let me just make sure you understand something. Okay, listen. They didn't like you with all that. They liked you as a person. They didn't like your style. They felt you were coming in, trying to change what we're doing. Who is this young cat? Who are you? How did that feel? Actually, before you answer that, go ahead. Because what's what's sad and funny, and what's not even funny, what's sad, it is still relative that way, not just with him, anyone that's trying to mm-hmm. change the culture of the dance as he did back then, it that still seems it still seems to be a problem. Mm-hmm. So go help us because we don't understand it. Well, I don't think it was dislike. Okay. I just think it was change. The old school wasn't um, acceptive of change. And I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice it at all because I was too busy doing me. Because I got to do me. I right. do nobody else. I'm a right, right. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just that wasn't accepting the change and I wasn't aware of the fact. This, this, this dance, this culture have a long history of you know, it's it's, it's, right, it got to evolve eventually. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't really aware of the dislike right. because I had my own uh, dynasty that I was trying to oh. create. You, you know, I wasn't trying to worry about nothing. It was a lot of people, older people that love me. Like I can mention a few of them, Lola, uh, Charleston. They used to dance with me like never before. It's like, Drake, you have to slow down for me, honey. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a spring chicken. I'm not, However you want it. Mm-hmm. And they taught me to be versatile mm-hmm. and just dance with yeah, everybody. You know what I'm exactly. Levels. Like people are like, Dre, you dance fast. I'm like, I can dance fast, slow, however you want it. You can call Dre, I got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I'm, I've been doing it for a long time, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, I looked at some old footage of yours uh, in the 90s. Your dance was smoother. Yeah. It started to change late 90s where the, the influence of hip hop was more visible. What caused you to change? Because you were Dre when you were smooth, and then you were Dre with the hip hop. What made you change? Well, like I say, um, I've always been a dancer all my life. Yeah, that's, that's what I was with, actually. I think I've always been a dancer all my okay. life. I used to be, everything I do, I don't go half here, half there, half. I go to the fullest. I was like the hottest thing when it came down to uh, house dancing, pop lock, and I was one of the coldest. I always been good at what I do, but I then stepping coming on, I had to smooth it down for the older folks. Okay. But then I got ADHD at the same time. I get bored really quick. Right. It don't take much for me. I'll be like, I got to do something different. Right. If I feel that I'm doing the same thing, like from the other day, if I do the same turn more than once. My mind gets to like, Andre, that's, you're doing that too much. Do right. something else. Try something else. Try this. Try that. Mm-hmm. And um, I just had to do what I had to do. The hip hop, I like, I love how the music was too slow, for one thing. It got slow. And I had to speed it up. So me, when it started in the hip hop, I kind of created that. So I mean, I'd be like, play this, Mellow Chris. Play this, DJ Cross. DJ Cross. Did I tell you from, did he, he from, he from Dre yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's from Dre and Company, born and raised. <laughs> Born and raised with Dre and Company, you know, okay. he, he's a phenomenal DJ. Yes, he well. is. Yeah, yes, he is. Cross, yeah. Love DJ Cross, right? And he's humble. Oh, my God. He's, he's, he's one of the most humblest guys, you know, and I, and I know we own the DJ, but DJ Cross, if he's listening, if not listening, he's one of the most humblest DJs that I actually know that, especially on the big scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, when I first met him, he said, hey, man, how you doing? And to this day, he said, when he see me, he remember who I am. He was one of the first DJs to be dancing, learning the step. Right. He wasn't all of these other, he wasn't all the DJs dancing, but him. Yeah, he's just like, he wanted yes. to dance and sing, well, to jump up and play the music. But he's a phenomenal, he's a phenomenal brother. I love him. Let's kind of go back to something. You, you started in a direction, I want to, you know, pivot back to that for a second. You know, you said that at that point you were ready to build your dynasty. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is you understood your path in which you needed to be on and that you was going down. Exactly. And I believe to this day you still 
in that same path? Yes, because um, like I said, I got I got a mental issue. Y'all know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. As long as you know, I just I, I, I <laughs> let me tell you one thing that really made me want to make build my dynasty. Okay. I'm going to be honest to the uh, old school, like my boy Pete Frazier, you know, Johnny's, I love her. That's that's the realest person in the United States of yes. the world. I love her to yes. death. Yes, she is. What she on, I'm on. Yeah. I'm yeah. with her 100%. Yeah. You know, I got a lot of more other names, but Pete Frazier, get back to him. He was, oh my God, he was just, I used to watch him for hours. You don't know it. You don't know it. Him and Keith Hubbard, it was the coldest I ever saw. And I'm like, these guys are good. Mm -hmm. I said, Pete, can I be part of the Jesse Gents? He say, uh, no man, <laughs> no man, we we fool, we fool. Okay, I understand. Cause they dress well, they the mm -hmm. best dressed crew. Oh my god, it was good. And um, next week, two weeks, he had a new dude. His name was what Horace or I forgot the guy name Horace, whatever his name, but he was new. And I'm like this, oh, you fool, we huh? cool, right? You fool. Good. I got to do me now. I definitely got to be doing me now. Right. So this guy named Cisco he said, Dre, we, we, I, I be at uh, the other place every Tuesday. You want to teach a class? I'm like, I just started stepping. I'm going to teach. He said, I don't care what you decide, what you want to do. I got this place. Ain't nobody up here. I need you to come up here and fill it up for me and let them buy drinks and you get the flow for free. I said, nah. The word free. Run, run all kinds of bells. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you know, I'm on the floor. I, I start putting the word out there. Y'all might not know this neither, but Dave Max, you ever heard of Dave Max? I know. Yeah, I know the name. He was one of my first, um, one of my first students, Margaret, Margaret Fisher. Oh. You didn't know that, did you? No, I didn't. You know not. why? Because they don't mention it, but I mentioned it. Anyway, uh, he was one of my students, and he was at the other place. He was one of them. He used to work for this um, printing company. He was one of the ones who, um, Printed my first flyers, our drain company. Yeah, you did. Anyway, um, you know, you know, it's amazing that you just dropped this news. I do it all. And just that, said it like we you know, supposed to stop him. Like you know, <laughs> and, 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 and I'm not being funny. He his teeth. Oh my god! You know, but you, you know, just, I'm gonna stay for just a second. I'm gonna go right where you left, right there. And and I think it's now this this means ain't Dre talking. It's me now. And it's not even a show. It's not, it's not, it, it, I think it's sad when people fail to pay homage to someone who's been an inspiration in their life. And you, it ain't about what they, where they are now. It's about what they did for you then. And, and I, it's, I think it's sad because this information, you don't ever hear this. You see these people who now are uh, good dancers, are good at what they do, but they never go back and say, you know, well, I'm this way because of what this person did in my life. Well, let me ask you. Let me, let me play devil's advocate. How long do I have to say that you taught me? What if it was 20 years ago? It, it doesn't matter if it was 20 years. I'm still talking about uh, Casper. I'm still talking about TV. Hey, my point. I'm talking about all okay. these people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to pay homage to the, especially the old school. I, I got a whole list of names, but I'm going to wait. Mm -hmm. But if I don't mention your name, uh, charge it to me here in my heart. Because, uh, Joanne Kane. She oh, definitely. That's my mama. Yeah. I, I kill Please a brick for Joanne. Tell Joanne Please Kane, Keith Hubbard, Pete Frazier, Janice. Mm -hmm. right, did I mention Janice? Yes. yes. That's my mama. Some names. Yeah. Yeah. Russell. Oh, no, right. I got a whole list, but I don't go that way. Oh, but we have to do better. I'm, I'm, okay. We have yeah. to do better um, as you, because guess what? As this person poured into your life, mm -hmm. now when you get on your way, on your path, mm -hmm. I hate to go back here, but when you get on your path, it doesn't hurt to don't give you gotta mention a thousand times that I'm only here in this place because of what this person did who gave me a start. A start, right. Right. We we, we just I think some people wanna think they were just born already. It it, it doesn't work that I way. I mean honestly, they get I think they get to a certain part point and not saying any of the names that he mentioned yeah. feel this way. I'm just saying some folks I think they just wanna think they just arrived naturally. Right. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. You're from Chicago. Born and raised. Born and raised. In Love Chicago. it to death. I'll go back any day. I've been ten times. I drove five of them. Why are you here? Well, <laughs> for one thing, I used to come down here at an event uh, in 2000, mm -hmm. the early 2000s, and um, the stemming community was off the chain. 
it was all for me. You know, I used to come down here, Steve uh, Matthews used to bring me down. Me and my crew, we'd drive down. We would have three cars deep. Which I won't step, we step it. We there. And uh, they had a lot of talent down here then. And then, in 2014, uh, I met a young lady. Amazing young lady. She's beautiful. That's my baby, Tracy, my wife, my husband. Oh, don't talk about me. I was like, no, 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 no. I thought it was like 15 when we met. Hey, Tracy, how you? I, mean, hey, I Trace, know you're listening. I know. Can I know he did? I mean, but the setup sounded like it was going to be me. I was just saying, I was like, no, 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 no. You got my homie. Oh, okay. You got my guy. I'm just saying, you know what you said, amazing young lady. I was like, okay. No, no, no. You know, you gave me the tea. You don't have to do nothing else. But, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, anyway, so 2014, you met your wife. I met Tracy. She, you know, was the nicest of the nicest of the ever nicest. I ain't never met nobody just as nice as she was. And she, um, yeah, I'm gonna get some cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get something today. Anyway. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead and tell Tracy, girl. I'm sorry. Anyway, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I met Tracy, and that kind of sealed the deal for me. So you met her here? No, I met her at the Step of Ganza. Oh, and okay. when she said she lived here, and then, uh, I always wanted to, I've been in Chicago all my life. Mm -hmm. I live, I love, I breathe Chicago. Mm -hmm. I need to change. You don't want to change. And then, like I say, Tracy come around and seal the deal. And guess what? I'm yeah, on yeah. the midnight train, Georgia. All right, man. Hey, huh? makes sense. Woo -hoo. It makes sense. Woo -hoo. Oh, I can tell that. <laughs> like, that was nice. I had to do that. Like, it was real quick. Okay. You did. You did. Um, okay, so you're here in Atlanta. So there were some things that was kind of a controversial a little bit. Mm -hmm. You moved here, you you know, I, I think you did an interview, we won't say where it was. But you made it. Oh! Oh! Go to it. Shotstepper.com, go to it. Shotstepper.com, did I mention my boy Terrence Pratt? You did not. That's you my just did. Matter of fact, uh, Terrence Pratt did an interview with me on my way to Atlanta. You know, he asked me, why is your mood there? You know, I let him know, it's change. To make a change. Okay, hey. so you want, okay, wait, go back. Hold on, let me finish. Okay. He say, uh, what you going there for? I'm like, you know, I like to make a change. You know, he like change. I mean, my experience, been doing it for 20 years, is enough to help the community change and to grow. Because like I said, I had talent in 2000. So I figured, hey, mm -hmm. let me enhance it. Let me do what I can do. Let me give them the experience that I have. So that, that has to lead me to think that you saw a decline. From 2000 to 2014. Trust me, it was uh, the, the dance has diminished since I've been here. I mean, when I was coming here, you know, during the, you know years, it's, I don't, I didn't see the morale. Mm -hmm. Everybody was old. Excuse my French, but when I was down there, 2000, it was it was young, and I'm like, where are these people at? Where's Corey at? Where's all these young people at? I mean, don't, I, I like old people. I like old school. I like old period. No, 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 no. But what, what do you think happened to the community here in Atlanta? I think the older people uh, pushed them away. You know, played all these old songs. I, I grew up on old songs. I used to love them, but a lot of new people don't. They they not they don't want to change. But you can do them both. Right. Because mm -hmm. I started off with nothing but the Wisp was my favorite group. Right. Mm -hmm. And I had to go to hip hop too. Right. But if some of the DJs like the band, mm -hmm. I say no name. That's their name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the band. He played a lot of old school. You know, you can go new school too. You can play it for everybody. Mm -hmm. I like the old school. I like his music, mm -hmm. but I like sometimes you make a change. You know, make it faster, speed it up. And a lot of young people mm -hmm. like they're tired. They like this. So, 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 so you. What I hear you saying is that the decline came as a result of not evolving with. Exactly. The, the, time. the, the time. So we, yeah. we stay stuck here, and so we lose the people who might want to come into this, but exactly. because of the style of music, not that anything's wrong with it, right. but it does, it's not appealing to the younger generation for, I mean, just the only way to yeah. say it. Yeah, definitely, because when I came up, it was all old music. I loved old music. Right. But as the time came by, I got my, my ADHD when I kicked in. So I started getting cool with the DJs. Hey, DJ, I need you to play this. Please. Mm -hmm. right. Be a little aggressive, you know, let them know how you feel. You know, tip them. Mm -hmm. And they'll play it. And other people be like, what the? But the young people like this, what? You know, let's right. go. And. You know, let me say something. All right. So when I initially started stepping, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand the old music. 
I didn't like it. See? I wanted to hear stuff. At, it makes sense. At the time, I wanted you didn't to hear stuff it. I heard on the radio. Right. Let me just be honest. Okay. But then as I got more experienced in the dance, I started to appreciate yeah. the older music and wasn't really feeling yeah, the music so much on the radio. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. So now I'm kind of in the middle. I'm okay with the radio stuff, but I really like your old, like the older, older stuff. And, and you mentioned the band. I've heard the band do both. Now, let me ask you this. When you go to Chicago, like when I did the East of the Ryan and I did places like that, they played the older stuff pretty much all night. I didn't hear a lot of the radio. Well, East of the Ryan, that's where, you know, a lot of old school go. Like Sam Chapman used to play there and, oh my God, it was full of nothing but old, older people. And we'll come in, me and my crew, 50 yeah. strong. you like, Sam, oh yeah, Sam a Capricorn. Did I say he's a Capricorn? Yeah, I'm a Capricorn. Anyway. We got some questions. Are you guys personal? Because I'm tired. Yeah, go ahead. How do you entice the new school steppers and not offend the old school steppers? It's a great question. It's a very good question. Who asked that question? Tony Hearn. Tony Hearn. Great question. Vegas. Yeah, yeah, Tony Hearn. Vegas, okay. It's a great question. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Offending people, you're not trying to offend anybody. You're just trying to bring different culture, different age limits, different people. You know, you're not really trying to offend anybody. If it happened to happen, like you said, when I was coming up, I probably offended some people. Uh, probably. Yeah. You but did. oftentimes, change it's brings good. offense, yeah. even though it's not the intent. That's why I'm here in Atlanta. Right. For change. You yeah. know, I just want to make a small change where we can all dance together and enjoy life together. And where the old school and the new school, we get together like I did in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Right. They want to see me in Chicago, but they eventually, you ain't got all the choice. Do you think sometimes people take it too seriously? Yeah, they and, do. And they take the fun out of it? Yeah, they do, definitely they too much. That? For instance, like for instance, people dying right now today. Yes. Like mad crazy. Yeah. And if I die, this time I'm gonna be in my casket. Oh, Lord, you know what? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be stepping. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be dancing. They're gonna be like, this dude is a we can we can get his legs back. <laughs> because this dude wanna dance, he wanna enjoy life, because you know life ain't promising. Y'all done lost three brothers, a sister, my mother, father, grandmother, and grandfather. Mm -hmm. So I grew up basically mm -hmm. on my own, you know? Right. And then not to mention I had a son I had to take care of. That's why y'all know I'm, I'm, y'all might think or think that you're arrogant. Girl. I'm humble as they could possibly be because I'm just so grateful to be here. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and that's why you know I go to the club. I hug. I try to hug everybody. Yeah, I need a hug. Right. right. I got issues, but I need a hug. You know. Let's go back to arrogance. Go ahead. Um, is there a certain amount of arrogance required in this dance? I don't say arrogant. I say confident. Yeah. Cause me, if I ain't nothing yeah. else, I'm confident in what I do. If I know I can do one hundred percent, I'm very confident. Arrogant ain't that's not that's not appealing, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be uh, not approachable. Mm -hmm. So like me, everybody look at me, man. He might be this way, but soon they probably be like, this dude is fool. This dude is crazy. I personally said that when yeah. I first saw you. It's fine. It's fine. Like, what is, yeah, let me ask you a question. Oh, that's yeah. great black worker. Yeah. What kind of? Yeah. But then when I came up, I said. He's a great guy. So I know you can back way back. You still you started on the six hymn. You now you teach on eight. Yeah, I do them both actually. You still teach? Okay, so do you prefer one over the other? Well, I used to love the six. I mean, we used to come to the clubs at least fifty to sixty strong. I mean, we all wear our drink. I mean, t-shirts, red, different colors, and take over. Mm -hmm. We was six count to death. And then one day I went to uh, I went to one of these cities and they was doing an eight count and guess who's the only one on the six? Me. Mm. So I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. I'm like, how am I gonna get this one? How am I gonna get this one? There we go. I'm rolling with the Roman. Y'all doing eight? Let me do eight too. Yeah, that's right. And who taught me the eight was Brian Patterson. I gave I give, I give people oh. what it's doing. Right. You know, he said, Dre, let me show you how to do this. I'm like, you know, I ain't gonna sit back and lay down and die and say I'm gonna sit to death. Mm -hmm. No, right. You roaming, I'm roaming with you. Mm -hmm. That's right. And me and me and B, we he showed me how to do the eight count from then on. I think it's better for the eight because you can see every step. Mm -hmm. Right. The six, you kick, kick, cross, cross, and no. I'm glad you brought up the kick, kick, cross, cross. Let's go to the R. Kelly days. Go ahead. Um. Did you just slurp it again? <laughs> oh my. Okay, 
Okay, so let's mm. talk about. Okay, first of all, how did you get the gig? Yeah, that, that's the question I want. How'd you, yeah, how did you get? How did you even get that? Well, uh, let me tell you, it's crazy. It's really crazy about that situation. Uh, you know, I play basketball a little bit. You know. You play basketball. Look. Oh, and I'm thick. <laughs> So, you know, I'm playing basketball, my guy, and like we and Markham, Markham, um, uh, Markham Rec, whatever, it's Markham Gym Room, and uh, we, we hooping hard. My guy was like, uh, man, our catch gonna be up here tonight. I said, okay, okay. And guess what? They put me on our catch. I had to stick him. Oh, my God. So, I'm so, he, so he balled also. Oh, he's a shooting fool. His arm should be uh, this big because that's all he do is shoot. Okay. He's a shooting fool. Okay. But um, wow. he came to the gym with his little entourage. Like I said, I'm from Robert Taylor Home Project. I don't care where you're from. Shout out. You did. You notice that? Yeah. I did notice that. Robert Taylor Home. Anyway. Uh, Twice. Yeah. He come in there like, you know, he, he, he this, he that. I didn't care who he was. I'm coming to play. I'm was he R. Kelly then? I guess he was. He came in with an entourage full of people. Oh, okay. So he was known as R. Kelly. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was R. Kelly. Yeah, yeah he all that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> he come in there like, they like Drake stick Kells. Oh, okay. Hmm. Next thing you know, I'm on Kells. He got 50 people throwing picks on me. I'm getting knocked around. But I got this energy. I'm all over him. Found hacking them. <laughs> Look, I don't give a hell who you are. I'm gonna hack you. <laughs> bigger than me, I'm gonna hack you. I'm stronger than me, I'm, I'm gonna hack you. So I'm hacking them. I'm messing them up. He's like, man, who's this man? Get him, block him off me, man. Get him up off me. So they throwing picks on me, you know, but I'm hit the ground, getting back up. Popping back up. You know how I did fast? Uh, I'm yeah. really fast in basketball. No. <laughs> so I'm back home. <laughs> Like, who the hell is this little? Yeah. So he said, the next week, we back at it. He said, uh, he said, who is dude? He told his boys, come here, come here, man. See that little big nose dude right there? Put him on my team. He like, why is that? He, he, he play against you. He said, if he had me like this, what do you think he's going to And sure as, sure as it was, I hacked everybody on his team so he get a free shot, free shot. And from then on, we was on the same team. And then they had to, you know, you know they had the song out already before you okay. make the video. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. So we doing steps, steps, side to side. We had to make up some because he didn't know what step it was. Right. So there was something on the slide. Yeah, he kind of. Yeah. Hmm. He, he got it. So next thing you know, the video come out. We already practicing. I done made up steps. I done made up this. I done made up whatever he's saying, I'm going to do it. Because eventually, you know, I pray on you and get the job. And guess what? I got the job. Cass was like, come here, Drake. I need you to bring some of your students. We downtown. Bring your students, Drake. Bring as many as you could. I got 60 couples. Wow. 60. 120 people. 60. Wow. I said, make sure y'all put on a, you know, application, whatever. Mm -hmm. Y'all from Drake Company. Y'all from Drake Company. <laughs> y'all from Drake Company. Ultimate business. So everybody got on this thing, drink of me, drink of me, drink of me. Every time everybody practicing, they showing what they can do. They are, you know, they're auditioning and the next thing you know. The lady like, who is Dre? I came in there, uh, I'm Dre from Dre and Come. She like, you Dre? All these people you come sitting in before. I'm like, I'm trying to get them to get the job before I get here. She like, well, guess what? Let me see what you got. So I get in there, I said, step, step, side, side. I start making up, bringing in stuff. I had one of my partners. We did the whole routine. She like, ugh. I need you. I need you. I said, okay. She said, I want you to take over the stepping part of, of the stepping, of the video. Hmm. I said, okay. She said, so this is the, I want you, this, these are the people I want. And these are the people I don't want. Hmm. So I start adding, I'm like, look, I need them. I need, I, I had about at least 30 couples hmm. made it, you know, 30, hmm. 30, 40 couples made it. We just took over the whole stepping thing. And then next morning, I mean, the next night we went to hoop. So he he see me down there practicing and all that. He like, you do, you do from. You was hoping with me, weren't you? I said, yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. But you weren't interested in me telling you that I was with you. You busy want to hoop? Cause I tried to say, kill. You know, I, you know, they called me for the video. He like this. I don't care about no video. We hooping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, we hooping then. So the video turned into some tour dates. Yeah, we 
How many tour dates did you have? Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember the tour dates, but um, that was amazing. That was amazing. Uh, that was amazing trips. We went. It's so many people I can never met in my whole life that I met Michael Jackson. I saw Michael. I was like this. I could meet you. I saw LL Cool J. I thought when I was back in the day, I was LL Cool Dre at one time. I used to wear the tie. Oh my God! Did he say LL Cool Dre? I used to wear the tie, girl. I saw LL. I was like this. My boy, like, close your mouth, man. You don't let that's not a trap. You're a grown man. Right, that's not a trap. I'm like, that's LL, man. You know LL? So, uh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, What it was, an amazing story. Yeah, it was, you know, I called my boy Tony Dow. Tony Dow, I'm like, look here, man. Some of these people I got can't go. Get your crew. Tony, like, done. Tony Dow come with his wife's daughter, his nephew, and. His entourage. You did. <laughs> Next thing you know, we on tour. Me and, oh, we had our own tour bus. We had our own everything. Wow. wow. He give us spending money. We shopping all. We shopping what? like a fool. We had a great time, you know. But it went it went bad. I'm just York. getting ready to ask you. Go ahead. Let what? Ask, yeah, let me ask the question. Go Let's ahead. You know, that's amazing that you know you get such an awesome gig yes. like this. You know, which means this is like now, if you wasn't on the map, now you are definitely on the map. The door is wide. The door is like boom. Now it opens up opportunities. So what in the world could have gone so wrong that you all could not pull it back together? Because right now, this is like opportunity that it had nothing to do with us. Okay. okay. It had nothing to do with us. Okay. It was the big head artists like Jay-Z. And Kells. Okay. You know, they both egos bigger than this whole house. Okay. Big. And what happened was Kells, Jay-Z just got off tour, so he had a lighting crew. And Kells was like, this, I just use your lighting crew. Instead of him getting his own, so the guy was messing up, his cues, messing up. Kells was like, what the? Hey! And you know, you're a perfectionist, just like me. Yeah, California. Right. Did I say he's California? Yeah, I'm California. Did I say anything about uh, December 30th? Oh, I ain't gonna go there yet. Okay, December 30th, my uh, fifth Friday, California explosion. Anyway, uh, I just had to throw that in. Shame is so. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm like, could you tell the story about the lights? So he kept on messing up his lighting. And we was in St. Louis. I never forget the reason we was in St. Louis on tour. And uh, we had our own bus, we had our own people. Kells walked off the stage, went to McDonald's. He started serving people when a, a drive through. May I help you? People were like, oh, I got it. You know, it was crazy. That was just the first thing. Then we went to New York. Oh, my God. We went to New York where uh, Jay-Z hometown. And he was kind of threatening. He was kind of intimidated. Kells was because they was clashing. Now, is this right when they did the album together? Yeah. Best of Both Worlds. Oh, okay. Right it was clashing. You know, it was clash every night. And, you know, these, these guys make it 800,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. 800, a night. One make 800, one of them make it 50. I mean, for 500. Mm -hmm. they, they got auditoriums. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine an auditorium full of people times mm -mm. $100? Mm -mm. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm. Anyway, mm -hmm. their ego was too big to keep that going. Together. So, we was in, Saint, we was in Chicago, uh, uh, New York. And next thing you know, some guy pointed something at Kel like a like a red like a beam dot, a beam or yeah. something. Kel felt like somebody trying to like shoot him. him. Right. He run off the stage. He had his wife in the back. He like get important. What you call important? Get up. We out of here. We over there with uh, our people in white, so they know they see the people in white. That's our step. So we in New York like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, they was over there, and I was like this. I got on the phone. I was in the back where everything popped off at. You know. I like this. Head for the bus. Head for really? the bus. Not looking good back here. So they in the back. Kale's trying to get back out there to explain himself to the people, I mean, you know, to the New York people that, hey, I, I can't do this. Somebody threatened me. Little Tata. Um, his name Tata is uh, Jay Z's little assistant. Little bitty short dude. I promise to do about 4 2, 4 11. He sprayed him with. Uh, sprayed R. Kelly with mace. Sprayed, yeah, all the whole crew with mace. Wow. I'm over there like this. Then, you know, they, they say this this uh, auditorium is gun free. They got guys back there with guns, pulling out guns. <laughs> they come like, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm like this. I just said it like this. <laughs> I'm a stepper. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I act cool. I'm here like, right. I'm like a 
like that? So John was like, drink whole ease. I'm like this. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all or nothing. I'm going over this way. Y'all have that. I'm getting my feet to my bus. Yeah. And we out of here. Wow. J- Kel had to go to Jersey and sleep at night. And we was in New York. We was in the Palmer. We was in the heart of everything. And uh, it's squashed after that. They missed all that money. It was fools. The, I wouldn't have missed it. The crazy ever. part, I remember, I remember that story. So for you to actually be there is like, oh wow. My God. I was back there in the midst of everything. So, did he do the chocolate album after that? Or was it before that? Chocolate, chocolate was way before, yeah. It was before that. So he chocolate had the, So he hasn't done another stepping. He's done no, another He did stepping. Happy People. That's when he brought us in again. Okay. Oh, so you did come in on Happy People. Oh, yeah. I'm behind then. He, this dude is so amazing. I'm in the studio when we all, he in a, whatever the thing called, a uh, studio, mm-hmm. and he on a soundboard. We in there for hours. He, this dude go to sleep. At three o'clock in the morning, wake up, listen to me, listen to the sound, wake up. Change that, change that. Like you were asleep, weren't you? I'm like, I'm looking at him like amazing because I'm like, you heard that? I hear nothing. He said, Dre, bring your people in. Bring all your people in. So we in there dancing, we having a fool, we having a ball, you know. I brought like 12 couples, we snapping. And you know, in my crew, all we do is what y'all call real, talk about each other. Mm-hmm. So we talking about each other, we laughing, having a good time. They see this dude say, you know what, Trey, y'all some happy people. Really? Wow. So you wrote happy people. I'm kidding. I ain't writing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, you know, that's how women get started. But look, but about. It was the so Trey actually wrote right. happy people. So it was the attitude. If I wrote it, I'd have got some of those uh, duckies. Right. But I didn't. But he used, you know, he used exactly. whatever he can to, to create. He's, man, the dude is a genius. You so just let me ask it. you, is there any way for us to get back in with that and, and, and take this Stepping to another level, do some of the things that Tony talked about, make it a film. Do well, it. Uh, I, I recently I just called uh, one of his his workout guys named Tony. He, I called him I'm like, man, what Kel's doing, man? I ain't talked to him in a while since I moved down here. He moved down here one time, mm-hmm. but he moved out of here some more issues, you know. But anyway, he moved down. He moved down here, and something happened. But I said, Tony, what what Kel's doing? He said, man. We good. We here on tour right now. I said, is he going to be on tour in December? Is he coming to Atlanta for December 30th? Oh, my God. For real? I said, y'all, y'all just tell people what you're doing December 30th. Oh, yeah. Fifth Friday. Friday. Fifth Friday. Capricorn Explosion. Did I say that? Capricorn Explosion. Drink Company at the Omega Center. Okay. It's going to be out of chain. We got like 22 Capricorns already signed up. Damn. Are you finished? Did I finish? Oh my God! Oh. No, no, oh. Sh- no, <laughs> no! Yeah, right. here. here, no, we don't want them here. Here, <laughs> right? Kara, I, I just, you know what? I, I cannot. I you really don't even say that. I mean, hey, oh my God! Don't scratch me! Don't scratch! Don't scratch me on the video. You decided to put me in. Real crazy, y'all. We're gonna say some crazy stuff on Okay, so let me ask you this. We're gonna we're gonna have to wrap it up because it's already been an hour. Yeah. Are you guys enjoying this show? Give me some thumbs up and some hearts. I know we haven't really talking to you guys. We've been talking to Dre because you say I don't. I turned my body all the way around like this. You gave up back to me. I'm like, man, I'm like, okay. And then so, gonna lean on me like I'm like gonna lean on me. Then me and Dre show. Listen, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Shoot, let me just move. Let me just move. I know we haven't really talked to you, but you guys are having a good time. Okay, good. But quick oh. question. While we, as we segue to, you know, to the end, do you prefer old school over new school, or you just like the combination of both? Because the, now these questions actually came from a guy named Buford. Um, Collins? Yes. Uh, I, I'm very versatile. I love okay. them both. I love an old school cut. I can slow it down however you want. I love that too, but I love a tempo. I love hip hop. I love the up the ninety nine point beats per minute, the one hundred and five. It just keeps me energized. Keeps me, you know, alive. So if you put it on a scale, um, let's say of one hundred, are you more sixty percent toward new, the, the faster new school up tempo? Uh huh. Fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Okay. Uh-huh. 50/50. Okay. Yeah, I heard from Dre. He likes okay. both. Okay. okay. I love the old school, and I definitely love the new school. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So you don't necessarily have to be old to like old school. No, no, definitely not. I think, I think, say it again. Do we have any questions that we want to say right now? No? We good? Everybody's good? No questions? So we get ready to sum it up, guys. Now let me talk to you about these videos that you post what from you your mean? class. 
Okay. You, have. Have. you know, I told you I was gonna ask you. Go ahead. All right, so you do drills. Yeah. Um, I've personally never been in a class with drills. Mm -hmm. I don't I can't learn that way. That is just me personally, okay. I see these videos that you post and I'm going, what are you learning with that? Like some of the people kind of all over the place. They look kind of wild. It's kind of like, where is Drake going with this? Where is it? What, what well, is Dr. Stop giving your trade secrets away? It's fine. It's okay. old. I, that's, I'm that been that, done that. It's fine. With the drills, is we do that the last 15 minutes of the class. And it's fast. We're trying to get them out. We're trying to get them hyped up for the next class. Mm. And back in the days when I used to do the drills, could you imagine 50 people doing the same thing at the same time? You as a new, new, new dancer, mm -hmm. and you look and you're like, huh? What is they doing? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Who they with? Mm -hmm. That's how, in Chicago, when I made the change, mm -hmm. I got so many students, but they were so interested in what is they doing? I mean, how do they get? People always want to be involved in something. Mm -hmm. And that's how get more people involved by doing drills. And I like the fact you, you turned me on, actually. Did you notice that? When you turn me on, you say, oh, Dre, your, your people don't look good uh, when they do drills. I did say that. It's fine. I don't take it personally. It's a challenge to me. Whenever I get challenged, I take my game to another level. I like that. So actually, we do it 15 minutes before and 15 minutes before we leave. You know what? And it makes sense because, you know, if, if the key thing, and then I don't know, I feel like the only way you can be successful in life, you have to be open to criticism. Because then, then you, if then you got weak blood or weak skin, this ain't for or thin skin, even coming on this show, you can't have thin no. skin. Stepping, period. Yeah, period. You can't be yeah. a stepper and be real sensitive. I'm just going to be honest. Because, because I'm going to tell you, you back can't. in the days, y'all think I'm harsh now? I was crazy harsh. I was rough. I was militant. You, you're rougher than you are now? This is, I'm soft. They call me soft in Chicago. I'm just kind of mad. Okay, I wait. I go back to let, me, let me stop. Let me just talk to the people for a minute. <clears throat> Keanu, no, Wilson, sip, sip Keanu Wilson called me soft. I'm going to get sip, it. Sip All right. So let me get a heart if you've danced with Dre before. Let me just get some hearts if you've ever danced with Dre. Let me get some hearts. Let me know when you see some hearts. You, you danced with Dre before. Give me some hearts. Okay. We got some hearts. All right. Did he cuss? Did he cuss you out when you were dancing with him? <laughs> I mean, just, just give me some thumbs up, some ha ha, some smiley faces, or something. Did he not cuss you slap out the entire day? No, no, hold on. Listen no. to me. The entire dance, he just cussing. Get your butt back over here. He didn't say good. Give me that. Give it. I'm like, okay, dude, you are scaring me. I'm actually afraid. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't even know. Like, even when you stop your feet, why you stop your feet? You ain't counting. I'm not even breathing. <laughs> I'm not even breathing. So, yes, to answer your question, I'm no longer counting. I'm no longer moving my feet, and I'm no longer breathing. Okay, <laughs> but, go but ahead. No, no, no. What's funny is you say this, because I actually met him back in 2012. I actually okay. met, actually, 2011. I met him. He was here for the Steppers Ball, and we were all down. Virginia Avenue, and Brian Patterson was here, short and smooth, Drew. Um, Tim, all of you, Sherry Gordon, even all you all was teaching that B class. Oh, yeah. You took all, you took all of the, like the intermediate, and um, and so he go to teaching us, and he was going, he like, hey, you taking too mm -mm -mm long to get this? I got ADD, I ain't got time to stay here. And I'm he looking at this, you out. And I'm looking at this guy like, in my mind, I'm like, who in there? All right. <laughs> And I'm like, wait a minute here. I said, you know what? Hey. I said, I ain't signed this and good. I'll walk away. And he said, no, 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 bring your back over here. And I'm Did you pay real? Uh, yeah, I paid. Oh, well. You know, and so yeah. I came back. What he is said, it? When he you said, don't pay, you don't get cut. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't and so talk to you anyway, I came back and he slowed it down. Because he was like, no, you're trying to throw too much too fast. Mm -hmm. And I'm not I'm not comprehending. But he actually slowed it. One thing about him is this. Is if he, if he even though he's got ADD and he sees you get frustrated, he will kind of turn his head, take his pill, turn back around, oh, and then <laughs> he slow it, and he slow it down. And so I, I have to give him that credit, you know. So I end up learning something, you know, that day, you know, every day. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you know, uh, I'm passionate for the dance. Yes, you know, I you love do. people. You do. I don't want everybody to feel bad. I can take a few bad, but I can't take everybody. I got so I could, I could change up. You know, I like people. I, I'm passionate about the dance. I have yes, another so. tough question. Ain't nothing tough. Let's go. Quantity over quality. Oh, I love quality. 
quality. I too many always everything. I don't even like too much of nothing. I just like enough people to realize and do it the right way. Mm -hmm. they, like I want it instead of quantity. That, that's, a, that's not. I, I done had a million people. Let me tell you, I had a, a crew in my core. I had 30 people in the core. 30. Too many people have too many yeah. opinions. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm in my head like, how can I listen to everybody? Mm -hmm. Cut this down. So I cut it down to like five, maybe seven. Mm -hmm. And right now today, it's like about five of us, right. six at the most, in Dread Company core. I'm right. bringing in a whole nother crew, but the core is going to be the ones who make the decisions around here. Are you trying to uh, train any um I got some writers. I got a couple of people already uh, lined up for the world largest. For 17? You did. Mm -hmm. When did y'all start practice? Uh, we did about early? three months ago. Oh, for real? You going to say that name? Nah. Because I'm thinking about doing 17 myself. Okay, what you gonna get in? Don't worry about it. Don't child. Don't, don't, don't worry about me. Don't no, even worry about, about it. it. I like you what you don't need to do is worry about what I got going on. You don't take to my city. You got a question? Oh, okay. Okay. You got a question? Go ahead. What makes a great instructor? Patience. Mm. A lot of people say I don't have patience, but I do. I, I'm really just firm. I just want it done the first time. But you know, I got patience. I, I, I'm I'm real quick to snap on you. But at the same time, I, yeah. At the same time, I just want you to get it right. That's how much passion I have for the dance or the people, the culture, you know, the history of the dance. I love this dance more than you can ever imagine. So if he's cussing you out on the floor, it's love. It's nothing personal. He wouldn't beat you if he didn't love you. Right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So our final thing. Go ahead. If there was going to be a movie made about Dre, what should the title be? The game changer. Oh. I love it. I thought you were gonna have to think about that because I didn't no, know that I'm question. Quick. I'm already look ready. at that. Look at that. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I, if I'm running about them, nobody else up in this house, I know about Dre. I know about Dre. I'm confident in Dre. If I ain't confident, nobody else. Hold up. Let me get a little that. Okay, we're gonna sit together. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My simple went right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to talking to you with Tika and Coles Will. Listen, we're gonna have to have you back. That was yeah. fun. And guess what? I live in an ATL. I'm you know what I'm saying? Thank you so much, yes. Andre. I guess you guys got his plug for his fifth Friday, which yeah, yeah. is the Capricorn celebration. Explosion. December. Expo December the thirtieth. It's not a celebration. It's an explosion. Yeah, exactly. Because guess what? This. I got these decorations already in my mind. How we gonna we gonna kill the van? Did y'all watch the last one? September thirtieth. Oh my god! It was fun though. Yeah. That was a good party. I, I, I had a ball. DJ I got to do that. We had a ball. Get it in. I let my boy DJ uh, Sasha get it in. Girl. We really did have a good time. We really, really did. Really I really yes. I just want to give a couple of shots. Out. Can I do that? You can Before do we that. Go? Mm -hmm. uh, I always want to recognize old school because, like I said, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here. That's you know correct. what I'm saying? Uh, I, got, I got my boy, um, Stephen Gray, he passed away, but I love him. Keith Hubbard, mm -hmm. Easy and Joni, um, who else? I got a whole lot of people, but uh, Dan Land, Ken Bifford, Pete Fraser, Cheryl Jackson, mm -hmm. uh, Maddie B, yeah. Joanne Kane, nice uh, Alonzo Brown, mm -hmm. Linda Fraser, Stoney Jackson, Rose Wellington, um, I got a whole lot of names. Yes, you do. Lola, Tony Dow. Did I say Tony Dow? Mm -hmm. That's my dude. Uh, Casper, Magic Mike, Tina Moore, uh, Desi from, uh, she got her own little hair salon thing, Desi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Desi. Mike Bryan, uh, Eileen Jones, she passed away. Mm -hmm. She was a beautiful inspiration to me. Oh my mm -hmm. God, she was a wonderful young lady. But uh, I want to get my boy Westside Mike Tick, man. You know, we're going back to the youth now. These are the guys who gave me hell trying to get this yeah, dance. You know, my uh, West Side, my tick man, uh, who else? B Royce. Oh my God, yeah. Royce gave me business too. If I forgot you, don't, like I said, don't charge to my heart, charge to my head. You know, I meant to say you, but guess what? He forgot. I got other things on my mind too. How about that? <laughs> you did? Got you. And let's not forget about uh, that's what it is. <laughs> Doc, what's up, man? What's up? Well, thank you guys so, so much yeah. for tuning in. What did you want to say before we Oh, go? let's not forget, you know, if you're in the ATL, man, for those on the man, we got uh, Ohio in the building, going to be in the building tonight. We that's got Florida, crazy. Chicago. We got folks in from Philly. 
So man, it, it's gonna be crazy tonight. You gotta be there tonight, I'm sure. Oh yeah, I hope hey, my name is Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're we in the same boat, dude. Lord, I'm trying to say. Don't we all on the same boat? The producers are saying, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Get that out of Hey, guys, guys listen. listen. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to say this because <laughs> what's life without fun? Let me tell you If you're not having fun, you are cheating not yourself living. out of life and you are not living. Mm -hmm. You are dead. So get yourself together and learn to have fun. Yeah, because life is definitely too short. It Go is. to a comedy show, do something. Do something, do something with your life. Have fun. Guys, we love you guys. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in to Talking Tea with Tika and... Co-host Will. And special guest... Dr. Dre's in the building. Oh, he's just Andre Blackwell. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.